Well, good morning from Reedsport, Oregon. Here with my pal Smokey. How you doing, Smoke? I'm gonna go check out an event going on in Reedsport. It's the 20, 20th annual, I can't speak, it's still early in the morning. Um, 20th annual, annual, well, I'll leave it uh, for a big surprise. Thanks, Smoke. Anything else to say? Only you can prevent forest fires. All right, on that note. He also wanted to point out today that we are in a moderate fire danger. I think we're gonna be safe today. I'm more worried about all the tsunami signs I saw coming into town, so. The Oregon Dunes, at the Harbor Light restaurant, now off to find this event. And we are here, we have made it. And with the buzz, it's all a buzz, the Oregon Divisional Chainsaw Sculpting Championships. Gonna go inside, see what's going on, check out some of the sculpting and see what we can find. So how about it? Okay, so we got in, this is gonna cost $5 if you wanna come on down and it's actually going on all Father's Day weekend. Here's a local steam donkey. Each machine head had a personality. Look at that. Yield steam donkey. It's a pretty big blade too. All right, let's go see some carvings. So I guess everybody's working right now on their main event pieces. What they do for about the first three hours they were saying. Oh, check this out. A couple making out in the back of the truck there. Get a room, you two. Okay, let's go check out what's inside. I'm excited to see this. Here's the other side. Wow, they got some really cool tiki's for sale here. But yeah, that's where we're gonna go head over to. Oregon's number one chainsaw over there. Yeah, that's that's where all the action is. So let's head over there. Get away from this guy's speaker again. And of course they have the Grogu. So this is where the live event's gonna be. So not till about one. There's a couple right here. That one's pretty awesome. And this guy for our soldiers. That's awesome too. Looks like a bear and an owl up there. Oh, look at this guy. The old mountain man. He's already done the wolf in the back. Getting in there. Here's a couple pieces for sale. Damn. Sorry for the noise, but it is a chainsaw competition, so <laughs> kind of got to deal with it. Awesome artist. See if you can guess who this is. The one and only, Oregon's Big Bigfoot. Going to town on that bear bench. And let's not forget, kids, safety first. Don't forget your mask and your earmuffs. So they got a bunch of stuff for sale, too, if you want to buy it. That's... Pretty pricey, actually. We got the Daddy Tribe sign. Briar and Ice. Oh, look at this. Bigfoot Heaven. That is awesome. And look at that. Bigfoot on the bench. That's a good one. That, that's the one for Adam the Woo, right there. Justin Driver. Awesome piece. Found some of Tristan Lemon's work. And look at these skulls. These are awesome. Yeah. Doing a dinosaur right now. Caleb Russ is almost like a Game of Thrones style bench. No lack of um, Bigfoots around here. Sasquatch. It's actually a pretty small event. There's the Foodies Grill that's not yet open, offering some pulled pork, sloppy joes, and chili fries. All for about eight bucks, but... Yeah, this is the middle area right here, and then there's rows on both sides. As I look down there, I see the menacing, look at that, watching me, got eyes on me, Bigfoot. 
some talented people, that's for sure. Glad I came out here. Like I said, we're in Reedsport, Oregon, very close to Coos Bay. Veterans of Foreign Wars, kettle corn, all the staple stuff. So a whole lot of buzz around here going on through the chainsaw. It's right behind me, a bunch of gift shops. I might go get something, so let's see. These are pretty awesome. Yeah, look at that. That's cool. I like that. Little price. So we got Tinkerbell over here. That Bigfoot, I can't, I'm obsessed with. This guy's working on like an elk, it looks like. That is pretty cool too. A mountain lion coming down. A rhino, an elephant, and another elephant. And I thought he was a troll, but now it's just like a, a naked mountain man giving the peace sign. And one cool dog being worked on over there. Beer because you can't drink bacon. I like this one, the true blockhead. Right before he gets started. That's cool. This one's pretty neat too, the sea turtles. And then, I don't know how these guys are gonna get these finished. I mean, they have pretty much like an hour and something left on it today, I'm pretty sure. Uh, maybe they judge them in stages. They all have these buckets out here. and That's where I guess you drop off your ticket if you think that they should go on. This gentleman was second place at the Pro Division in NorCal, and he's doing, looks like a Kraken. Man, that is cool. Anthony Robinson, 2023. Chainsaw Carving Championship, Reachport, Oregon. So while we have a break in the sound, I thought I'd show this one. This is Kazunori Ota doing the Moon Man. And also the Red Riding Hood and the Wolf. Uh, I guess you can have teams of two people uh, assist you. I wish they'd give me a chance. Wait, are you allowed to smoke while you're here? I guess so. Kazanori. So you, if you're in the market for an Indian chief with a, looks like a wolf's head and a bear, this will only set you back what is that? 4200 They got some decent prices on the ones around here, but I got to figure tomorrow they'll really come down in price on the final day. Yeah, definitely worth the $5 and plenty of scraps back there if you want to give it a shot. I think mine would look more like that. Well, made my way down from Reedsport. Now in... Uh, I was in Coos Bay. And now we're down in Bandon, Oregon, down here by the ocean. We got a little market going on here. Let me go inside, see if we can find anything cool, but seagulls and let's see what fish are around here. Take a walk over here real quick. We have beneath the surface, a Dungeness crab, halibuts, flounders, Mitten crabs, zebra mussels, cabazon from Alaska, came all the way down to Oregon, pigeons, cods, salmon, and the rockfish. What's going on, pigeon? Look at this guy. What's he up to? Getting a free meal there, huh? You got busted. Oh, helping yourself to the bucket. I see you. See what you're up to. Look at them balance. Yeah, it is kind of windy out here. Yeah, hold it. You got it, bud. Oh, you're, what a punk. <laughs> That's funny. So this right here, oh, we're at the farmer's market. That's where we're going to. Let me pan out. This right here, this fish is made from trash that they found inside the ocean around here, so. As you can see, the scale to size, pretty large fish. Never 
forget the tsunami evacuation map. What to do? Do not wait for a warning. I think it's funny because the water gets sucked out and then people start going out into the water. And then all of a sudden, surprise, water comes back in, takes you away. This is Finian, Art of the Sea. Hello there, Finian. So just made my way inside the farmer's market. Check this out. And we got Steve, the weedy sand dragon. <laughs> made out of all plastic bottles. Pretty cool idea. Touch gently, please do not climb. Got some old lighters there. What else is in there? Golf balls. Favorite Seinfeld episode? Kramer knocking golf balls into the ocean. Yeah. Pretty cool. This is the one I like. The crazy creepy light fish. That one is awesome. What an idea. They have the book, duly noted, Wash the Shore. Well, that's going to conclude our Oregon trip. Uh, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Now we make our way to Oakland. Not to say, but yep, this is the Eugene Airport. We've got a six o'clock flight, and there's. Well, there's my plane right there. All ready to go. And it's going to be a full flight. Well, it's a rainy day in Oregon. We only have about six gates here, too. And it is completely full. Uh, thank you, Mark Thompson's passenger on flight 2153 to Oakland. That's me. In about five minutes, we'll be boarding our flight. Priority three boarding is available for passengers holding a boarding pass. That's me. All right, and we're off. Well, we made it to Oakland, so. Looks like we're at Southwest World. And of course, my spot is way over there, so have to walk around the terminal. All right, off to Palm Springs. There we are on a pretty clear day out in Oakland. Number 25, that's us. Obviously not here yet. Got about 50 minutes before we board. Luckily, I'm in the top 10 to board now. So, all right, I'm ready for Palm Springs. And I think that's gonna do it. We have made it to Palm Springs. It is 100 degrees today. Uh, happy Father's Day, and look at this, the Calder Cup Finals. It's the Hershey Bears, Coachella Valley's very own hockey team. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bonus footage, look at this car. Somebody does not like this person. Scratches, scratches on the roof. This is the inside of the car. And this is the windshield. Holy shit. I mean, excuse me, wow.